What is up guys, I am back with another video. So Hurricane Dorian is expected to be a category three hurricane on landfall. And as we can see in this updated chart at 12 p.m. today, uh, it's gonna hit anywhere from Florida all the way up to Georgia. And we actually have some models predicting even in the Carolinas. Uh, here's NHC's a little bit more detailed view. So as we can see, this has been upgraded recently to now become a hurricane. Right now it's at 70 miles per hour, so it's five miles an hour or four miles an hour under being a hurricane. And as we can see on Sunday and Monday, it's been upgraded to a major hurricane. So it's predicted by Sunday, I believe, to be category three, which is totally different than what the prediction was even a day ago. And uh, here is the spaghetti models. I find this quite interesting to see a lot of the models are basically saying it's going to hit kind of uh, mid to northern Florida, although there are some outliers up here. As we can see, three models go up to South Carolina and one even uh, goes to the top of South Carolina and to North Carolina. Um, and then we do have some models coming across and actually going into the Gulf uh, all the way through Florida. So this is the intensity uh, expected over time. And as we can see now, a uh, let's say about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight models are now predicting we're going to get to category three. And we even have two models saying it's going to get to category four. Uh, most of them at least get into the category two range. And these are, this is how many hours out. So this is like, you know, that's one day, two day, three days. Uh, so things, uh, you know, if you if you live anywhere from Florida to even like South Carolina, I would, uh, you know, start preparing for this weekend. And uh, that's the other thing too, it's Labor Day weekend this, and you know, a lot of people could be vacationing in Florida, like at Disney World and stuff, and this, you know, could come pretty close to there. So I would, uh, you know, definitely keep an eye on this and just be prepared to be ready for a potential hurricane. Um, so if we take a look at their uh, forecast discussion notes, uh, as we can see here, I'll just pick out a couple of uh, key points. The, the NHC forecast is more aggressive than the previous one and brings Dorian to category three intensity by the end of the period. This forecast very closely follows the intensity consensus, the HCCA model and the SHIPS guidance. Okay, so heavy rainfall over portions of Puerto Rico and the US and British Virgin Islands could produce flash flooding during the next couple of days. Heavy rains are expected to occur over portions of the Bahamas, Florida and elsewhere in the so southeastern United States later this week. And uh, here's the updated forecast projections. So 12 hours from now, it's gonna be actually hurricane status. Uh, 24 hours at 75. Two days from now, it's gonna be 85, so category two, I believe. And then three days from now, 105. And uh, four days from now, 115, which is category three. And then also four days from now, we'll also consistently be uh, category three. So this is looking to be like a major, major uh, hurricane. And uh, so this has completely changed. Originally, it was supposed to thread the needle here or even go over Puerto Rico, but now it looks like every model is saying it's gonna bypass Puerto Rico. And this is why there's been a change in the intensity of the hurricane is that it was supposed to weaken over Puerto Rico, but now it's just gonna continue to build strength as it's skirting right north of Puerto Rico. So now it's got like an extra you know, day and a half to build up uh, steam and really build up its wind power force. And another thing that people were talking about is that the storm surge, I guess it's like keen tide in Florida right now, or it's going to be around Labor Day weekend, which is already high tide. So you got keen tide in Florida combined with this category three potential hurricane coming. I mean, that could be really bad just from a flooding standpoint, you know, not even if you get a direct hit, it, it can just be bad all the way on the east coast of Florida. And uh, I'm definitely going to be tracking this as more things develop. I'm going to be making more videos covering the storm. And uh, yeah, anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates on the storm. Thanks for watching. Bye.